Hello and welcome to this video. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at creating a simple emission material from scratch inside Unreal Engine 5. So before we get started, let's just talk about what an emissive material is. An emissive material is one that emits light. Think of glowing orbs or thrusters on a spaceship. The material is able to cast light into the scene and illuminate the surrounding area and also cause shadows. It's also a great way to make your own lighting and apply it directly onto your models. In this example, we're going to be creating uh, the material and applying it to this floating orb. So let's begin. So first thing you want to do is in a content browser you want to come down and find out whereabouts you want to place this material uh, it can be anywhere you want so in the uh, menu just right click and then go to material so that's right clicking and go to material so we've got a new material and let's call this uh, emission and then we'll click off it and then we'll come up to our sphere we'll click on our sphere and then in the materials option we'll just drag it over and now it's applied so let's click off our sphere now we need to get in and actually start playing around with some nodes so we'll double click on the material to bring up the material editor let's just move this out of the way so that we can see what's going on. So if you've never worked with nodes before, they're really quite simple to, to kind of get your head around. You basically, you're plugging in one thing into another to create an effect. We're going to be using three different kinds of nodes today. And the first one we're going to be using is a constant three vector. So, in order to get our nodes up, in the node editor, just right click and we're going to type in constant. Now, as you can see, you've got four different constants to choose from. But what we want to do is we want to tell the emitter what color we want our, no, uh, our emission to be. So, we're going to cl click on constant three vector and that's going to create this constant parameter. We're also going to need to tell it how strong we want that emission to be. <clears throat> so we're going to right click again and we're going to type in constant but this time we're just going to have a normal constant. And we can change these values um, and it would work exactly the same way. However, we're going to convert these constants to parameters. That way, it gives us a little bit more to play with in terms of um, kind of changing the settings. So to do that, we're going to just click on our first constant three vector, right click, and go to convert to parameter and we're going to call this one if I can spell emission color and then click off it and then the bottom one we're going to do exactly the same so right click convert to parameter and we're going to call this one emission strength so let's just zoom in a little bit so that we can see what's happening So we've got an emission color parameter and an, an emission strength parameter. Now the problem is that we can only plug one of these parameters in to our emissive color for our texture at one time. So what we need to do is we need to get them working together. So we're going to right click once again and we're going to type in multiply. So now we have the option of telling our material that 
we want this color and this strength to work together so that the strength kind of dictates how bright the color is going to be. So all we need to do is just left click and drag our emission color, so our, our RGB, straight into the A value and our emission strength into the B value and then our multiply value we move over to emissive color and it doesn't look like it's done anything but it has but what we need to do is we need to click apply once you've clicked apply you'll notice that the orb has changed and now we can go in and we can start playing around with the settings so you'll notice on the left hand side you've got a details tab which gives you uh, not a lot of options because we haven't got a lot of information going into it however we do have a parameters section so if we click on the parameters section you'll notice that we've got our emissive color and our emissive strength because we changed them to parameters so now it's just a case of clicking on the emission color and selecting the color. Let's go for a, oh, let's go for an orange. Let's go for an orange. There we go. So click OK. And then now, if we increase our emission strength, you'll notice that we now have an, emi an, an emissive, it's really hard to say emission, an emissive. We, we have the ability to change the brightness of our emission. So you could go absolutely nuts and blind everyone. You know, you've got a nice little sun there. But we're going to stick to about 50 for the moment. So once you're happy with how it looks, just Good practice, just hit apply and hit save. And then we can close out of that. And as you can see, it is affecting our scene. So it's casting colors. Now looking at that, I think I wanna change the color. It's really simple to do. You just double click on the emission material again, go back into the parameters and then play around and choose the color that you want. So we we'll are go for a blue, I think. Let's put those back. And so now we've got a nice blue and maybe change it to a yellow or a green so it's really easy and we can adjust the brightness um, let's just go for a nice white one at the moment so there you go that is a very quick emission emissive material in unreal engine 5 um, I'm going to be doing a few more tutorials like this, uh, just basic ones for the most part. Um, but if you did find this tutor tutorial helpful, uh, why not click the like button and maybe consider subscribing. Um, you'll also be able to see updates on Star Wars Horizons as I plow into that. Um, if you have a question or tutorial tutorial request uh, let me know in the comments and I will try my best to kind of start making a bit of a schedule to to make more of these uh, but yeah once again thanks for stopping by and I'll see you see you in the next tutorial